What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today, of course, it is the 4th of July, so you know what that means. We have to open up some packs that are red, white, and blue, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to have sort of a random pack opening. There are 36 packs here, if I counted correctly, which I think I did. I always try to double check that. I don't want to mess that up. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun, just like we did last year, and uh, hopefully we have some good luck too. So, happy 4th of July to everyone, and of course, if you're not an American, then still have a great day. I mean, I still hope you have a, a wonderful day on that too, because obviously, Obviously, not everyone celebrates 4th of July, but it gives me a reason to do a random pack opening, so yeah, <laughs> let's go on ahead and uh, get to it. I don't guess it really matters what order I go in. I'm just going to pick up packs and start opening them, so <laughs> not, not really anything too crazy on that. I just hope we have some good luck. I try to get a pretty good variety on packs, too. Let's see. Go, go, ghost on the hazy flames. And, oh. Upside down card, I don't know. There's an XC behind there. I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll see. Uh, we have Harold Aga Beast Twin Headed Eagle and... Is it? Yeah, it is actually hollow. Oh man, <laughs> this pack's weird. <laughs> Everything's upside down, but we got an Ultra Rare. Oh man, what a way to start off the opening. Uh, Brother of the Fire Fist, Tiger King. Well, there we go. That's a really good way to start off the opening. And we know we're getting uh, new Fire Fist support later on this year. So yeah, that's awesome. Well, there we go. Even some of the Mermills and stuff too. I was hoping it was, because I see it was an XC monster, but I think there are some common XCs in this as well. Um, I guess we'll separate hollows. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. So, we'll, we'll organize as we go. Doesn't matter. Let's just open up some packs. Also, I saw some people want me to open up the brand new mystery power box that's out at Walmart. Uh, I'm going to check for that later on. Maybe we can do an opening on that tomorrow if they have any in stock at the Walmart near me. Because I know Jobber challenged me. So, don't worry. I've heard. Uh, anyway, we have Infernoid uh, Patrilla. Or, uh, Patrilia? I don't know how you say that exactly. And, ah, well, it's a Mortronic, though. That's kind of cool. One of the Yosinjus as well. Can't wait for the new support for them, too. I got some of, uh, Savage Strike as well, so I'm hoping we have some good luck. I don't know. This said, I have some good luck with sometimes, and then not so much. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a Guard Dragon. It's always a Guard Dragon when I think I have something better. Which, still a good card, though. Guard Dragon Pisty. And then, of course, uh, Cyber Synchron. Obviously, to your guaranteed hollows with Savage Strike, just in case people don't know. Every time, though, I think I have like a, I don't know, some kind of high rarity card. It's always one of the guard dragons, it seems like. So, those always get me. But they are good link monsters, so. It evens out. Have the original Hidden Arsenal. Of course, everything's holographic in this. So, starting off, we actually have one of the Worm Monsters. Uh, worm Arrowkin. Uh, X-Saber Axel. Flameville Magician. Flameville Guard, and then I'll have Justice uh, Geralt, Geralt Hog? I <laughs> That's another one. I'm not sure. Close enough. You guys can see the name. Whatever. <laughs> I've got more and more. I'm like, eh, I'll try, but yeah. You guys can see the names. Clash of Rebellion. On the Ignites. That kind of goes with Fort July. There you go. America, guns, knights even. Sure, why not? <laughs> At least the, the knight part goes with me. <laughs> All right. Have, oh, we actually got one of the kaijus. There we go. Uh, Dogran the Mad Flame Kaiju. Not bad. That is actually really awesome. And then, Red Eyes, a Black Fair Dragon. I will definitely take that as well. It's a Red Eyes card. You guys know me. Any Red Eyes monster is always awesome. Um, oh, yeah, we're not guaranteed to hollow with this set either, are we? Well, that's actually better than I thought. Wait a minute. I was just thinking about that. I was like, uh, no, this isn't one we're guaranteed. Well, even better. <laughs> there we go. For a second, I got it confused with one that we're guaranteed hollows. Well, okay, we did a lot better than I thought. Always forget about that one, and uh, what was it, Dimension of Chaos? Is that the other one with, like, the uh, Scar Right that's on it? Always think that uh, they're guaranteed hollows, but they're not. They're, like, the last ones that didn't. Psychic Tuning, and then... Oh, we did get a hollow! Man, okay, we're starting to have some good luck. Fourth of July is uh, actually helping me out here. Uh, Alien Kid. Not bad. That gives us a, a super rare as well. And I know you're not guaranteed a hollow from this one. So there you go. I, I remember that one easily. And Duel of Saga, you're guaranteed all hollows, obviously, in case you don't know. I feel like I should say that on some of these. But I still like Duel of Saga. Aw. <laughs> we got one of the Sacred Beasts. They almost won uh, for being the next direction. I think Shadal's ended up winning. But yeah, I was kind of rooting for Sacred Beast just because I wanted to see what Konami would do, honestly. I wanted to give them a challenge. But yeah, <laughs> that kind of brings back that that memory that just happened. Uh, I'm on Lord of Striking Thunder. Uh, Concealer M7. Pretty good. Full Armored uh, Crystal Zero. 
then full armor Black Ray Lancer, and Guard Penguin. But yeah, we were so close to getting a Sacred Beast uh, structure deck. That would have been cool. I, I still say I would have kind of enjoyed that just because I want to see Konami just try to put those three together in a structure deck and make it make sense. That I think that would have been funny. So, But yeah, it was Shadal's, which is a good choice too. Fire Formation 10 key. Hey, that's not bad. Then, oh, okay, I wonder if all these are going to be upside down on these. Uh, we have uh, Heraldic Beast, one headed Eagle. And do we have Hollow? Yeah, we do, and another another Fire Fist. There we go. I'm sorry if I'm making people dizzy, by the way, too. Uh, we have Brother of the Fire Fist, Lion Emperor. Oh, man, that is awesome. So, yeah, we're getting the Fire Fist support. That's what I'm trying to do lately because we know they're, again, getting new cards. I'm sure a bunch are going to get reprinted, too. But, uh, yeah, I'm just getting ready, I guess. <laughs> so, that is awesome. Man, I'm glad we're having some good luck with those. I actually have a unboxing coming up very soon, too, with Cosmo Blazer. So, spoiler alert, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> I guess people are wondering. I think I've seen a few requests for that, so, yeah. Also, yes, we have some Cybernet Horizon in this, because you guys were telling me in the last random opening that we didn't have enough. We need more Cybernet Horizon, so here we go. <laughs> actually, I'm kidding. We had a majority of Cybernet Horizon, so. We Witches Apprentice. Well, good start with that. And also the dinosaur. I don't know how you say his name, honestly, so. So he's just the dinosaur, okay? <laughs> we'll, we'll just go with that. Make it easy on me. Well, there's still plenty of good cards from that set, too, so I don't mind, actually, that I have so many of those packs. Have Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Mirror Force, hey, there you go. That's always useful. Of course, uh, number uh, 94. Harpy's Feather Storm. And then also White Veil. Also, by the way, we are finally getting the Harpy Lady uh, Link Monster. I guess that's next week, actually. So, looking forward to it. I might actually build them now we're finally getting the Link Monster. I have a few different things I want to build. I thought I would try out the new Vision Heroes with Destiny Heroes. I've been testing that. It's been a lot of fun. Like, seriously. Might have to build some things, too, since we're finally getting a lot of our missing Link Monsters, too, from that set. And numbers update and stuff, too. Okay, now it's the Hollow. What do we have? And another Guard Dragon. Well, it's the other one, I guess. Might as well <laughs> get them both, right? Uh, Guard Dragon LP. And then the Medulce as well. So there we go. Another Time Thief as well. I really hope next set we get more Time Thieves. You know, they only came out with a few of them. They're like, okay, we're done. No, we, ne we need more. Because <laughs> I want to see what they can do. Just like with the few cards they had, they've been pretty good. It's kind of funny. All right, let's get another uh, Fire Fist card. Why not? Oh, okay, I guess they're just all going to be upside down for this one. Uh, Ultimate Fire Formation, Aceto. And, ah, oh, unfortunately not. I was wondering. Star Drawing, hey, there you go. <laughs> Remember using that card with Utopia. Always fun. All right, Clash of Rebellion. We are not guaranteed a Hollow, so I'll be more excited next time. I, For some reason, I don't know why I forgot that. Have uh, Dragong and oh, do we? Oh man, we got something. We struck gold, and it is an ultimate rare. I thought so. I thought I could see it on the edge. I can't believe it. Uh, we also got like one of my favorite cards from this set too. It is Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, that's how you can tell it's not guaranteed a hollow because you can get ultimate rares and even ghost rares. I think it was was it uh. Red Eyes Flare Metal. I think that might have been the Ghost Rare in this set, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got an Ultimate Rare, too. And like I said, one of the coolest looking ones as well. It's like Black Skull Dragon, a new version of it. So, that is amazing. Well, there we go. That's easily one of my favorite sets. I've been debating on getting a box of that set recently, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Maybe that's telling me I should, right there. So, I just mainly like that set because, again, Red Eyes support. It, it just makes me happy that we got that back then, and I, I want more. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have a uh, Misfelly Soldier, Worm Barsis, then uh, Allied Justice Colossalus, Berserker Crush, which I always love that because it's a mad wing Kribo, <laughs> and then also another one, the Allied Justice. So far, man, I I'm glad I have some good luck. I kind of just randomly got these and I barely got them in time, and I was almost like, man, I just hope we do decent, and <laughs> we're hitting it out of the park, like seriously. This is awesome. If you're enjoying, be sure to leave a like. Like, uh, that really helps. Fire Formation 10 key. Then another one of Sito, and I think we got a hollow. Yeah, we do. First off, there's the rare, so you can see it where it's not upside down. But we also got a Brother of Fire Fist Dragon. Oh, man. I, I'm having some good luck, at least with Fire Fist. That is awesome. 
I hope their Link Monster and everything's pretty easy to get too when we get that uh, that new pack. I forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, <laughs> at least we're getting the different cards we need beforehand. So that is really cool. And some more Mermails and everything too. Savage Strike. I still think we get some good luck from this one because, again, Savage Strike isn't going to be in the Mega Tens, so there's still quite a few cards I wouldn't mind getting from this. Still makes me sad. Well, uh, okay, we got one of the Sherry Nui's. I feel like I always get this one. Uh, Sherry Nui Squire. And then the Incantation, uh, Chow Slime. That's the ritual. But yeah, I always get the Sherry Nui's, seems like, from this set. That or the Guard Dragons, which, eh, not necessarily too bad, but not really what I'm looking for either, you know? I think that's our last Clash of Rebellions. Okay. What do we got? So far, we've had really good luck with this set. Let's continue that. Have a Cosmo Town. Pretty good rare. And then... Aw, oh, couldn't end with a hollow on that one. Oh, well. I can't complain. I mean, <laughs> I, I've already done amazing with that set. So, yeah, I'm glad I picked up a few of those. Uh, Cybernet Horizon, again, I, I know you guys can't get over this set. I, I feel like I gotta open up this set as much as I can before the reprints. That way, there's still some value with this set, because <laughs> that's gonna change. Uh, Dragoonity Asinitus, and then also a Goki the Giant Ogre. At least I got a Dragoonity. I'll take that. It's actually what I'm using on Duel Links right now, because they're doing that thing where you fight the Earthbound God, and with Dragoonities, I can bring out Stardust, which does like three times damage to Kallen, I think is his name. So, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Oh, do we? Oh, okay. <laughs> Next, this time. And then another one of Chalice Slam. And we got Guru. I think that's supposed to be reprinted as uh, an Ultra Rare in the Battles of Legend. Again, that's next week. So, looking forward to that. I'm glad we're getting a hollow version of that card. It definitely deserves it. Can't wait for that set, though. Like I said, I'm, I'm working on some deck profiles for that, too. I'm trying to get everything ready. Because I'm going to get a few of those boxes. Have a Fake Failure, which is one of the better hollows from this set. Uh, Necro Valley, again, pretty good. Fallen Paradise, uh, Sea Lord's Amulet, and then Silent Angler. Not bad, though. Fake Failure's always good. Remember when those were expensive even as a rare. So, <laughs> that's very useful. Alright, Gokies. Then Noble Knight Custian. And also, well, Incantation at Talismandra. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Secrets of Eternity. All right. One of the Spiritual Beasts. That's pretty good. Then uh, we have Necrol Cycle. That's another one I believe we're getting as an Ultra Rare. So <laughs> that's going to be cool. And then... Oh, we did get a Hollow. Well, there we go. Uh, you're not guaranteed one with this one either. Uh, we have uh, Cleef Forward uh, Cephalopod. I think that's how you say that. I hope I'm right. Uh, but yeah, we got a super rare, so that's awesome. Hadn't seen really any of the Cleef Forts for a while, so there we go. That is actually pretty awesome to see. Even though I do not like going against Cleef Forts. <laughs> They're one of those I don't really miss. I'm sorry if you love Cleef Forts. I always hated going against them, so I feel like, though, eventually they're going to get some kind of new support and be powerful again. It'll happen, I think, eventually. Their Link Monster was pretty decent, but it wasn't really enough to, to do a lot for them. It seemed like their Link Monster was more for anything machines. Flip Flop Frog. I think that's actually pretty good to get from this. Uh, Planet uh, Pollutant Virus. Assault Mode Activate. And uh, Dupe Frog. I think Dupe Frog is actually uh, one of the better cards to get, too. I think it's actually worth more than most of the Hollows from this set. So that's awesome. I have to double check, but I think so. I think it's like a 2 or $3 common or something like that. So I'll definitely take that. <laughs> like I said, it's probably better than most of the Hollows I could get from this set, which is just funny to me. It's always funny when a common does that. DD Warrior Lady. Then uh, Monster Gate. It's pretty good, too. Gozuki. Then, oh yeah, here we go. Here was like... I guess one of the more expensive cards of this set. He's pretty easy to get now, though. Uh, El Motohiro uh, Honest Neos. Still awesome, though. I love that this is actually a card, so that is really cool. And then also full armored uh, Crystal Zero Lancer. Yeah, I think it's like Visionary Vion and Honest Neos are like the best ones, or were the more expensive cards to get from the Saga. They both have reprints, though, now, so they're much easier to get. Which, that's a good thing. Oh. 
Uh, we Witches Apprentice. I was hoping it was Boral Sword. I'll admit it <laughs> when I saw that. Uh, even though that's also getting reprinted soon. And a World Legacy World Crown. Yeah, I had someone ask me about that. Like, uh, what was a good budget option or whatever. It, it is getting a reprint. I don't know if it's going to be you know, too much cheaper, how easy it's going to be to get that reprint. But it should help. So, again, that is Battles of Legend. Next week. Hopefully it's fairly easy to get, though. That way budget players can get it, too. Seeing one of the XC uh, sharks, basically. Ten key. Then, oh yeah, that's right. This, these are always upside down. Uh, we have uh, Hyper Ancient uh, Shark Megalodon. Then also, ah, unfortunately, no hollow on that one. We've had some good luck with this set though, so I can't complain. Another one, Dual Saga. And by the way, I love these packs. I love that. You actually have the original art for Dark Magician and Blue Eyes on them. Oh, here we go. Here's one of my favorite older cards. I actually saw one of these the other day in a store. It's like first edition and everything. They were asking like $100 for it. Uh, yeah, this one's a little different though. That was the original first edition one. This one is, of course, a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, which, yeah, still one of the coolest cards ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! and one of the more iconic ones at that. Then also Master of Dark Law, not bad either. Skydive Scorcher, Wandering uh, King uh, Wildwind, and then also Sea Lord's Amulet. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. I know this be kind of a longer video, but kind of just enjoying myself. Before the fireworks get started, might as well open up some packs. That's, that's how I celebrate 4th of July. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Dance Princess of the Necros, and we got an Ultra Rare! Oh man, and that's a really good one too. Uh, we got a Kai's the Mega Monarch. That is really awesome. Well, there we go. Like one of the best cards of the set, just right there. See, this is our, yeah, last one for Duelist Saga. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another one of Haman. Gotta get that Sacred Beast. M7, again, two. Uh, contract with uh, Don Thousand, Cosmic Flare, and then Power Wall. Still sad. I, I would have loved to see Sacred Beast on that. All right, I'll admit it. I'm one of those people that was hoping for that, just because. And also, it would kind of annoy some people, so I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> Not always the nicest, I guess. Oh, have one of the heraldic uh, beasts, uh, Leo, this time. That one's pretty decent. And, aw, no hollow. Unfortunate, but again, that set's been really good to me in this opening, so no complaints. Cybernet Karazin. All right, we still have three more. Can we get some above a super air from Cybernet Karazin? I think everything we've gotten was super. Let's see. Get that Boral Sword? Now that would be a happy 4th of July. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I saw a Link Monster right after I said that, so I thought maybe we had it. Yeah, another one of particular uh, Drum Gone. So, yeah, that one always gets me. <laughs> right after I said it, I was hoping I called it. I was going to fall over, probably, if that would have happened. Freaking trolled me. Crusadia. Then, yeah, you did it again. <laughs> I was ready this time. You didn't fool me this time. <laughs> Wait just a minute. Oh, man, a lot of Link Monsters in that one, too, by the way. Dang. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Savage Strike. Sure, Nui. Then, yeah, Guard Dragon Agrapane. I think that's the only one we're missing from the Guard Dragons. Then Nate the Leader as well. And then, last three packs. Red, white, and blue. Let's see. Face Cam's getting close to... Being done, so I gotta be careful. Anyway, let's see. Have Wall of Thorns, and ah, no hollow from that one. Mortronics, and, and even one of the Black Wings, though. Now, Savage Strike. Okay, can we get something really cool from this one? Let's see. I'm hoping so. Got Majin Buu. That's what that always reminds me of from Dragon Ball. And Valkyrie uh, Verte. So, yeah, super rare on that one. Even one of the dragons, though, at least. Can't wait for that structure deck. And now we are down to our last pack. All right. What are we ending with? Can can we end with something above a super rare? Let's see. Come on. Cybernet Horizon, help me out here, buddy. What can we get? World Legacy. And, oh, <laughs> I thought so. I saw Link Monster. You didn't really fool me this time either. Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Good Link Monster to end off on, but yeah, unfortunately, another super rare. 
All right, let's go on ahead and do a recap of everything we got. I'm not really going to organize. I'm just going to go through them, basically. So, yeah, let's do that. First off, we have Hayate, which, uh, yeah, we got quite a few supers from Savage Strike and Cybernetic Horizon, unfortunately. Didn't have the best luck with either one of those. Did get a couple of M7, though. That one's pretty decent. Caius Mega Monarch, that is also really awesome to get. Like I said, like, one of the best cards of that set, so that is definitely worth it. Let's see, Honest Neos, always good to get that one, too. What else we got here? Um, well, the Cleforts, that one was kind of random, but sure, hadn't seen Cleforts in a while. Even though, again, not a fan of going up against them. Uh, Effect Failure, always good. Like I said, that will always be, like, a good card to get. I don't think that's ever going to change. <laughs> Even next, I just like that one for the artwork, mainly. Then we did get quite a few Fire Fist cards. I'm still surprised about that. So we got one of Dragon, some Hidden Arsenal cards after that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got our ultimate rare, too. That was probably the highlight of the opening for me, because seriously, this card's so awesome looking. Again, ultimate rare? Yeah, you guys know how I am about that. More ultimate rares I can get, the better. So that is awesome. We got to do, like, a collection update soon on that. Guard Dragon, always get a ton of those. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, another one of our Fire Fists right here, Lion Emperor. It's pretty cool to get that one, too. I'm sure a lot of them are going to get a lot easier to get, too, so I wouldn't go too crazy trying to hunt them down, because with that set, I think everything's going to get reprinted for them, really. Alien Kid. Uh, Red Eyes Flare Dragon. I, I still think that was cool. Again, I, I'm, I'm kind of sad I forgot that that was one we're not guaranteed a hollow, so I, I'm still happy I got it, though, because, yeah, Red Eyes. You guys know that. And then our last one right here is Tiger King, uh, Brother Firefist Tiger King, I guess I should say the full name. Again, really good to get, and uh, yeah, I, I just can't wait to see what we're going to see for Firefist. I think there's also going to be new cards included with that as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Again, happy 4th of July to everyone. Just want to do something random, and uh, let me know if you enjoyed this, of course, by hitting that like button, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content, and of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.